So one thing I haven't really tested during my review process, which I normally do, is play against the Legend AI. Now I have played against the Superstar AI on the exhibition matches. That's where I do a lot of my testing, but I haven't actually tried Legend AI, which is only pretty much with your dream team. So we're gonna do Legend AI matches, two of them, and I'm gonna give you my verdict on just how much they've improved or if they even have improved in version 2.1.0. So we're gonna kick things off here. So the first match is against Chelsea. Okay, so I've switched from the Barcelona colors and the main reason for this is just to, oh, that's awful, is to basically, um, how can I describe it? The pitch, or the Camp Nou, <laughs> doesn't look all that great. So that's why I've pretty much made the change. It's a little bit, taking a little bit to get used to, to be honest. That's what I mean by player responsiveness. See the way that ball just hit his head, it's selected the player behind, it's just, it's just nuts how, the, how bad the, the sort of player responsiveness now is. So they fix they fix one thing and then they they break another. And I'll, I'll just point things out as they as they sort of happen. But that was just one great example of many I'm sure that's going to appear over the next two matches. Here's Mason Mount, Kudabali, Sancho. Well, they seem pretty good at, like pressing the ball now. They're faster at moving the ball, by the look of it. And they had to be, they had to be made better because it was ridiculous. They used to be playing these matches and winning five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> zero. But that's what I was talking about with the sprinting. Holding down the sprint button now is just, <laughs> you're just on rails. As soon as the second you hold it down. Oh, there's a goal! Wow. Raheem Sterling. Maybe they are a bit maybe they are a bit more challenging. Or maybe it's just the the controls that are hindering me right now, especially going forward. That sprinting is non existent now, it's just it's just a passing simulator. But like going forward, they look they look a bit better off. We'll see how they are once I get my flow going. This is the first game I've played in. Wow. Oh, cracked off the bar by Mbappe. Foden is Neymar Jr. Can we find him? No. Nope. Pressure's building though, and he's offside. I wanted to go to Foden. It's so strange, like the first touch has improved, so the passing's better, the player's receiving the ball's better, which does help in a good way. But when you run with the ball, it feels like the only time you can really run is when you're in these areas here. But the turning feels so slow. And the ball seems to run away, run away from you. The longer you hold the sprint button, As it, there it is. One thing I forgot to mention is the finesse shots do feel a bit better. They feel a little bit more zippy. Just so, you, like you saw there, and the goal that Sterling scored, they do feel a little bit zippy than they perhaps were. And now is Mbappe getting through? Not quite. Look at that though. Look at that. That scoop through ball is like a cheat code against the AI. I mentioned it in like one of the earlier reviews I did. Honestly, they just don't know how to deal with it.
The goal scorer for Arsenal. After 32 minutes in. So, looks like I'm getting my game together. Slowly. play I love I love my midfield right now <laughs> these these players are insane oh good defending they used to be quite weak as well when you press the AI they'd very rarely do what they just did there they wouldn't long play along long pass out good claw away from Diego Costa Diego Diego Costa should I say But hopefully they've they fixed that because that was a massive flaw of the AI. It's messy in an Arsenal shirt. Just imagine. <laughs> Follow Reese James. And Reese James to take it. And that, that right there where I won the ball, that defending is so automated. It literally just hones in like a, like a homing rocket on our MiG-21. Just, honestly, it's just far too easy. Make it more manual because what you did, what you get online is people just charging at you, straight into you. Like, honestly, it's like rhinos just ramming you down, hurrying you down, like like I'm doing here. And look at look at that turning circle from that player there. To do a 180 turn in this game, you might as well just turn over possession. Oof, unlucky it can quite shift it. Oh, uh, they, they've gone back to being risky again, but that's nice. They play it out of defense far better. That's one thing I will say. That first touch has noticeably improved. Like playing it around now is much better, but positioning wise it's still not great. Like I talked about in my review. I don't know, they just Oh god. Again that player selection. Why, why didn't it select this this player who I'm throwing the ball to when that ball came over the top? It just doesn't make sense. Player selection is not good right now. It just seems strange. Maybe I should try. There are different variants of uh let's go with a free kick. What? Referees are still the same. Absolutely tragic. Referee. Definitely a lot better at moving the ball forward. 100%. Which is good to see. To see how they'd react to me running down the wing with the player. It's good that someone came across. So I'm trying to test different aspects of the AI here. 
see how see if they're going to be willing to let my player just run down the wing and get to the corner flag which is good one of the things you one of the things that you could do in pretty much Pez 21 just a couple of one twos and you'd be at least up by the corner flag and it was Casey just cycling the ball back around and very exploitable here's Verratti calling for the ball we need to make some subs I do like the fact they've got more subs now you can make five substitutions instead of the three so a nice little touch and oh, that's got to be a free kick I don't know why the last one wasn't when Sancho got took out like that but maybe because it's Lionel Messi gets caught from behind let's make some substitutions and just show you that you can make more so I'm going to bring on Leao on this left hand side always change the wide players first like your your full backs or anything, anything like that then focus on your midfield after that um, so pretty much you can replace a large chunk of your team that's all I need so far Substitution for Arsenal. Number 10. Mm, Mbappe is going to be the one here Number 7 Jadon Sancho Number 22 Oof Couldn't Number quite three. squeeze in at an air post Looks like they, yeah, uh, one thing I sort of have noticed, the, the amount of mi missed chances, I would say. Seems to be extended. Certainly the physical battles have improved since version 2. I feel like they're, in version 2 it was just crazy. But partly because of the first touch. Just how bad that was. It just exaggerated, I think. Still got crazy things happening, but let's still play there from Alaba and headed wide. Unlucky Mbappe. I still play here from Alaba. No nutmeg. Gets into the box. Crossed in. Is Fafana. So updated the latest transfers, of course. Oh, wonderful ball through. Oh, I just tried a little cheeky chip into Mbappe. But it does look like the AI have improved. It's still not difficult. You know, it should should be scoring that. A little bit higher. A little bit unfortunate. I find these corners though, like very easy to get on the end of from an attacking point of view. So you you always I always tend to find like the attacking team will always win the header. It doesn't always go in, of course. But I definitely feel like the I win more as a, an offensive player than a defensive player. See you later. Gotta love that. Lovely little turn from Mbappe here. One of my favourite moves is the uh, Marseille turn. Especially when you get two players nice and tight to you like that. Because you know they can't turn. They're bound to the same mechanics that everyone else is. And that play momentum is a killer. If you get turned Kylian real quick. Mbappe. Mbappe. Oh, well out. Good save. And then clear it away. I say the offline play and online play is different kettle of fish. Like the online lag and lack of responsiveness is is 
so noticeable compared to offline. I have so many laggy matches now. And I, d I swear, like, most of the five bar connections are from, are from like, Brazil and stuff. I'm like, what? <laughs> there will be three minutes at a time. Why are they, why are they from Brazil? And they end up lagging, even though they've got, they say they're a five bar connection. But in reality, they're not. So, so far, so good. I think there is a slight improvement to the AI overall after playing that first game. Okay, so Brentford up next. So, from one spectrum to the other end. So, we'll see just. This will be a good test, actually, because obviously Chelsea are a good team. Just see uh, how much of a difference there is in playing a weak team over a pretty formidable side, decent side. Here's Mertens. Thought I'd give him a game. Not seen him in a while. Fracked one off the post from Sancho, but those stunning shots just don't feel the same. They just don't look the same or feel the same since version 1. I can't remember which one they nerfed it in, or like not really nerfed, but changed the way it looks and feels. Just doesn't feel anywhere near as good. Why didn't the referee play on? Because I had a good advantage there. Ball out to Sancho here. Into Mbappe. Referee. Constant fouls. That was another foul. Blatantly just clattered into my player. Okay. Well, that's good. Gotta love that. So, my defender, I'm pushing towards the ball. But he gets, look at that. He just gets automatically drawn out to that player on the ball. I did not go towards him. I didn't press any buttons to go towards him. That automation and lack of control is so so poor you should be able to decide where you go i don't know what this is for but this this thing where they just lock on to onto players and just do what they want and take all the control away from you is horrific look if i did if i didn't put my player in the right position to defend then punish me for it. That's, that's my fault. But you picking the where the player or my player should be and automating it. That's... And if that goes wrong, then I'm going to get mad and have, be frustrated at the game. If it goes right, then I'm just like, well, I didn't make that tackle. The game did. The game made that tackle for me. So it's it's really not good. When the game's in that sort of, in this sort of state. It's just one of many things that is really frustrating to me. I had such a manual game and they're just ripping the heart out of it bit by bit. Just to cater to the, just to cater to the wider fan base to get people playing it and enjoying it. Maybe it's for the mobile gamers, I don't know. Maybe it's to help the mobile gamers because they're struggling defending. They should abandon crossplay, in my opinion. Just forget it. Forget trying to play and merge mobile with consoles. Different controls. You know, you, you're having to like take out half the good stuff in terms of things you could do in 
really old versions of Pez that you can no longer do anymore. Ah, oh, God, this is a horrendous game. This is such a bad game to watch and play. And play. It's just foul after foul after foul. The referee's like calling everything. That was a foul, but still. Right, let's, uh, let's put the afterburners on here and start taking control. Okay, we've got an attacking strategy, so that's why they're so many men forward. But we'll do exactly the same and show them how it's done. Oh, they found another player. Honestly, they're just trying to break the game down every single time. And he's onside. Ferrati. That was pretty simple. Comes out to Jorginho. And that's well and truly over the bar. <laughs> had to be had to be tried. Good response of this though, though, for the first time. Shots is I remember in one of the editions or one of the builds. I remember when you press the shoot button and sometimes it just wouldn't do anything. That has definitely been eradicated. Oh, Ivan Tony! Unlucky. Unlucky, son. Good idea. Ball into Verratti. One of my favourite midfielders play. Midfield players in e football. Just feels so good. Oh, God, that was awful. They definitely seem much improved. Oh, unlucky. Messi. Oh, trying to clip it to the back post. That's interesting. And that's... A miss and a half from Mertens. Expecting Mertens to finish that to be fat. Shocking, look at this. Straight out to Mertens. Right foot. Wide of the mark. Look at that, it just clatters into my player from behind. Just runs straight through him like a like he's a ghost. Casper the freaking ghost. No foul. Of course not. Just just blow the whistle ref. And this is what I was talking about. Players, as soon as you run, you just every time you press the sprint button, you're just asking for trouble. Brentford playing pretty well, but once I switch to two and attacking strategy as well, they'll probably go to a normal strategy now, judging by, uh, there we go, they've gone to a normal strategy, it's just through experience, I just knew they were going to do that, so I'll meet them with the normal strategy first and see how that goes, and then maybe switch it back to attacking if we're not having any joy. Messi, Mbappe, goal. Yeah, it's a bit easier when they've switched. When they're attacking, when they play an attacking strategy, the AI are pretty dangerous. But when they when they switch out of that, it becomes a lot easier. A lot of people used to put it down to scripting in in the old pairs. I was like, no, they they're just actually trying to trying to score a goal back. Yes, there are other elements where. The controls feel a little heavier when you're like 2 0 down, but not not when it was like level or anything like that. They they just generally attack better because they got more men forward, and the AI are smarter when they when they're attacking 
And then when they're defending, when they're defending, they just let you attack at will, attack freely. Unlucky. Good pressing there from Mbappe. So this AI is much more enjoyable than before. It's still not perfect. Oh, good save. Should have scored. It's just walking <laughs> towards goal. There's no urgency. There's nothing the defenders could have done. Other than maybe give away a penalty. So. The attendance for this match was 72, look at that secondary player press. It's, it's far too effective. In terms of how accurate and how quickly it latches on. No shoulder badges, no fouls. Oh, now they're in trouble. He's got Liao and Mbappe's pace to deal with, and that's a goal. Yeah. Once, I get, once that ball goes in field, you just know. <laughs> you know what's going to happen. Speed is a bit overpowered again now. In, since version 2, now 2.1, speed is still. Very, very overpowered in my opinion. We've got Fabio and Modric. I'll tell you what, Just bring on Neymar and Coutinho. A little bit more exciting in those attack me field errors. Having those two players. Ah, oh. <laughs> the ball, like that ball deflected, and it and the player slap went just crazy. Didn't give me anyone near near the ball here. Just didn't know who to who to select. I'll see. When you look at Pez 2018 and how far that was ahead of its time in terms of the AI, his name art. That's the ball through. Rafael there, back to Neymar. You chip the ball in here. No, I'm not. You try and chip it into Mbappe. Mbappe looks suddenly tired of well, tired of us all of a sudden. Here's Koeman. Trying to get away from his man. There are some nice touches. I mean, let's just take a look at that. Just So just look at this. Koeman receives the ball. Lovely first touch. Second touch. Third touch, and watch this. Just a little drag through his legs there. Bit of a collision, and he goes to try and go around the outside. But look, it's just things like this. People talk about clipping in FIFA. A whole ball's inside his foot. Here's Dam's guard. Good tackle. But again, look at the collisions. It just bounce off and it's just not very good at all. Yeah. Pace. It's gonna go around him. Not quite. Out muscled by the defender. Bueno. You can see he's looking for that one too. Neymar. Okay, Modric into Neymar Jr. I've now got up top. And he's sprinting away. Look at that. Amateur. Amateur hour. And they gotta fix that. They gotta stop the AI passing back to the goalkeeper. Because it takes too long for the goalkeeper to react. Look, 
Look at that touch. Awful. I don't want to, no one wants to score goals like that. Like no awareness of players around them in terms of closing the ball down or being closed down. Neymar, Foden, so he's running a little bit of traffic there, so no. Marseille turn to win the foul. Okay, so the match is about to end. Just want to share my overall thoughts of what I think about the gameplay right now in terms of legend difficulty. Are going to score here? No, they're not. <laughs> so I think that there's a noticeable improvement on legend difficulty. I just think it's still too easy. Like these were not challenging matches. I didn't really like hype myself up or have to even break sweat to win these games. But it is more challenging than it was before. Again, there's a lack of awareness with the goalkeepers being back passed to and being pressured. And, and the defensive line seem to be messing around with the ball a, li a lot less than they used to. So they do seem to progress it better. They may, they may even have to play that, play that longer ball, which they never used to. So that's good to see. But I just think they need to just tighten up a little bit more to re make it really challenging. This is, this, is not, this is not the legend difficulty how I imagined it. I don't want to play... And win every single match on legend difficulty anyway that's all for me ladies and gents how are you finding the legend difficulty in eFootball 2023 version 2.1.0 are you finding it still too easy is there any changes that you've noticed but i think it's definitely a little bit harder but still too easy that's all for me thanks for watching i'll see you next time take care bye bye